hello guys welcome back again to evro fashion class so today i'm going to show you how to make a sweetheart neckline as it's just a continuation of the other video so what you're going to do you're just going to use the same bondies that i uh, i cut off on our last video just to shape out the sweetheart neckline i'm going to show you the easiest easiest way to do it so what you're supposed to do is to measure our underbust and my underbust is 14 so that's my underbust after measuring the underbust what you're going to do you're going to measure the distance between the underbust and the bust there what you get so i get three and a half so what you get there is watch this line is is what you use on top so you're going to measure like from this bust line so saying that you use on top is what you use to shape up there okay. so i'm going to take three and a half so this is what you get here and you get after taking three and a half so from here it depends on how deep the client wants the cleavage to be you're just so going to measure how deep line. the so client here. or your so customer will love to have the what to call the cleavage to show if they want it deep or not deeper so i'm going to use nine so here i'm using nine i've just removed like one inch from the from the bust line then i'm using that shape so you just shape it then you go just immediately to the armpit I hope you have understood the process as I make uh, as we continue I'm just going to show you that so yeah if you have you're using the princess that it will come that way then it will come together but here I'm just cutting it simple in a simple way just with a simple bondage just to show you so that it'll be easier for you to draft it this is simply easier for the beginners so you measure three and a half three and a half so you can see what you used and then you shape there you measure one going up or nine going down then you'll get where you start carving your sweater neckline so after all that i'm just cutting it out cut your bodies out or cut the upper part out and then there we go as simple as that we have our sweetheart neckline this is how simple it is for more videos if you want us to learn something just comment on the comment section and let me know what you want us to cut up, cut down i said on the last video that you're going to use a lot of you're going to use pattern papers that are clear for you to be able to see clearly so what you're going to do i'm just going to place on the back piece that i cut out on the last video then we'll shape from there you go at the armpit you mark there then from that line where the bust is you know the armpit and the bust are the ones which collab and give you that line for the bust line so from the bust line you measure one and a half going down because that's our allowance so this is the allowance and then going down going down you measure one and a half or one it depends how you want it and this helps the back not to there's, there's a back when you sit down it leaves a space at the back it's like your dress is pulling back so this one enables you to be able to have a tight and back that is just fitting for you getting inside your back fitting properly so for me i've seen i've used one and a half you can use one others go even deeper as two it depends how you want your back to be even if you want it to be so low you can even go that as deep as you want so i'm cutting it out after cutting out that's what we have that's our back piece 
and that's our front piece. So this our back piece. It looks like that. You can see it's just an easy peasy, easy peasy thing to do for you. So I can show you this. So when you join together, the back will look like that. That's how the back will look like. Then we have our front piece. You put it in front. That's what you have. So when you go to the sewing machine, you'll do all the things they put in their darts and everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something from cutting. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. So anytime I upload any video, you'll be notified. Thank you. See you on the next one.